Gyms may start reopening soon after weeks of shutdown due to the novel coronavirus pandemic, but will it be safe to go back? During a coronavirus task force news briefing on April 16th, President Trump revealed a three-phase plan for opening up America again. And gyms, along with restaurants, sporting venues, and places of worship, were on the list of non-essential businesses given the green light to reopen in phase one. But whether or not you should sweat in a studio or a gym remains up for debate. One major factor is that there's no set consensus on when it's safe to reopen. And states, cities, and even counties are making their own decisions with or without the OK from public health and infectious disease experts. And an open gym doesn't necessarily equal a safe gym. After all, there's also no set protocol on what gym owners should do to keep everyone safe. This is Meredith Poplar. She works for the IHRSA, a not-for-profit representing health and fitness facilities all over the country. We think it's so important that gyms open in phase one or at the governor's discretion, but early in the process. We truly believe that health clubs are essential to the community's health. We, as the Trade Association for the Industry, have provided our gym owners with questions on both safety and operations. These are questions like, How far are you going to have to move equipment away from each other? How many pieces of cardio equipment will you have to unplug to keep six feet away? What are you going to be doing to ensure that your staff maintains their area of the club to make sure that whatever is touched is appropriately cleaned and disinfected? There's a long list of questions. The good news? While how closely your gym stays on top of cleaning is up to the owner and your fellow gym goers, many gyms do have safety top of mind and have been planning for reopening ever since they closed down. Take Lifetime, a company with over 150 locations around the country. They've created a 53-page reopening plan, which includes increasing the frequency of cleaning, offering more disinfectant products to clients, limiting how many clients can be inside the building and at classes, using signs and markers to promote social distancing rules, spacing out weight machines, only allowing the use of every other cardio machine and locker in locker rooms, and temperature checks and face masks for staff. Fitness studio company ClassPass, which has over 30,000 partners in 30 countries, also says they'll reopen classes on the platform as soon as gyms say they're ready, likely with reduced capacity. Of course, despite well-intentioned efforts, public health officials still stress that returning to the gym could still be risky. I think decisions about whether to return to the gym or whether to return to the fitness center um, or health clubs, much like even returning to work, all have to be taken on a case-by-case or a really specific basis. I think one of the most important things to think about is really that this virus can live on all different types of surfaces, sometimes for long periods of time, whether that be metal or vinyl. And so with this in mind, it's gonna be important to really sanitize. I think if we are prepared to accept the risk that we might be taking by coming into contact with people who, you know, may have this virus and may not show symptoms or, you know, uh, we're coming into contact with a lot of high frequency uh, surfaces that are, are often touched. And if we're not really prepared to really take steps that, of course, will change our routines then I think we might want to consider that maybe now is not the best time for us to come uh, into contact with, uh, with those things or to go to gyms, really. Still considering returning? Here's what to keep in mind. First, don't go back if you don't feel confident in a gym's cleanliness. And don't be afraid to call ahead and ask what your gym is doing to curb the spread of coronavirus. When you do go in, remember these important pointers. Wash or sanitize your hands as often as possible. Don't touch your face. Wear a face mask. Keep at least six feet between you and other people. Wipe down equipment before and after you use it, and if you can, pack your own wipes so you'll always have them on hand. Otherwise, virtual classes seem to be here to stay. Lifetime is streaming multiple free classes online, from yoga to strength training, 
the YMCA is sharing on-demand videos on their new YMCA 360 platform, and many studios and gyms, like Barry's and Core Power Yoga, are hosting virtual classes. And those are just some of your options. So if you're feeling iffy, know that there are ways to sweat, no face mask necessary. Thank you.